Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. The approval process for the PE exam application can be a source of confusion and frustration, with many factors impacting the timeline of approval. In this video, we'll explore the step-by-step -step process for the PE exam application, including the eligibility requirements, the submission process, and the timeline for approval. We'll also provide tips and insights to help you navigate the application process with ease. Whether you're just starting your engineering journey or you're looking to take the next step in your career, this video is a must watch for anyone seeking to become a licensed professional engineer. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The exact time it takes for a board to approve a PE application can vary depending on various factors such as the state in which you are applying, the time of year, the completeness and the accuracy of application, and the workload of the board. On average, it can take anywhere from a few weeks to several months to receive that approval. It is best to reach out to your state board directly to get a more accurate timeline for your specific situation. Additionally, some boards may have online tracking systems where you can check the status of your application consistently. After you have submitted your application, the board will review it to ensure that you meet all of the eligibility requirements, such as holding a degree in engineering from an ABET accredited institution and having a certain amount of professional experience. Once your application has been approved, you will be eligible to take the PE exam. After you have passed the exam, the board will review your results and issue a license, title, wall certificate, or professional status if applicable in your state. It is important to note that the process for obtaining a license and professional status can take some time and may require additional steps, such as submitting additional documentation or completing continuing education requirements, depending on the state. Again, to get a better understanding of the specific timeline for your state, it is recommended that you contact your state board directly. We did a complete two-part video series on how to complete your application in an easy to follow step-by-step -step process called How to Apply for the PE Exam that you can check out right here on our Pass the PE Exam YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Lastly, while waiting for approval, you should make sure to keep your FE and or PE records up to date as some boards may require additional information or documentation before they can approve your application. It is also a good idea to familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations for the PE license in your state, as well as any ethical and professional requirements that must be met. In conclusion, we hope that this information has helped you to understand the process and factors to consider when planning to take the PE exam. It is very important to consider your state's requirements, your experience, and your goals before making a plan to take the PE exam and become a licensed professional engineer. We wish you the best of luck on your journey, and we hope that you find success in reaching your professional goals, and we're here to help. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. 
And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will read and respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam. Thank you.